Welcome or welcome back to Readability. If you didn't know already, this is a kid podcast that's all about reading. Don't know a good book to read? Visit Readability and I'll help you out. Every Saturday, I'll either read, review, or recommend different books just for you. Lay back and listen to this week's episode. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to this amazing Wednesday podcast episode where I talk about Legend by Marie Lu. I read this trilogy a while ago before school ended, but trust me, I have some passionate feelings about this book. Just wait until the character segment. I wrote this part, like this beginning intro segment, Um, after the script was entirely done and just looking at it is making me angry um there isn't much to say in this intro segment so i suppose we should just hop right into the episode legend by maria lu is a dystopian novel following two central characters day daniel wing and june eperus iperus uh, (laughs) aperus i don't know how to pronounce her last name but i pronounce it iperus June lives in the high-class republic. Her family is rich, and she's extremely smart, coming up with a perfect score on her trial. A trial is a kind of test that kids at the age of 12 have to take to see if they're worthy enough to be in the republic and fight and stuff like that. And Day is from the poor areas. He's on the run from the police and is a very infamous criminal. To be fair, he does them for good most of the time so lots of morally gray energy from him it's also going to mention that there's a deadly disease going around the public that is endangering a lot of citizens but it's when june's older brother matthias is murdered that the blame goes directly to day himself and because of this june makes it her goal to capture him however together the two learn some shocking secrets about their government and decide to work together The author is Marie Lu. The book is 305 pages long. The publishing brand is Speak Books. And this is the beginning to the Legend Trilogy, followed by Prodigy and then Champion. If there's a (laughs) noticeable difference in the quality of the audio, that's just because I turned off my AC, so hopefully it's a little clearer. If there's not much of a difference, then continuing on. After finishing this book, I overall felt really satisfied. I had a lot of fun reading it, and I think it's a worthy four stars. There's a simple plot with fun characters to follow, and wow, does Marie Lu write action pack scenes. Just wait until Prodigy and Champion. It just gets better. To be fair, I, and I feel this with every dystopian I read after, like, <laughs> The Hunger Games, I just feel like they're all the same, like, group of, like, teens go against the government, you know? So, unless there's something mind-blowing in another dystopian, I probably think of it a little more superior. But this book was simple and a very fast read. So, four stars. Good book. So, some overall thoughts about it. First off, I actually really like the alternating first-person perspectives we see throughout the novel. I mean, if a book is going to have multiple perspectives, um, for example, Six of Crows, there's, well, in the first book, there's five. They're usually going to be in the third person. And most books are in the third person, right? So, anyways, in the Legend Trilogy, it's actually in first person, so we see the true inside scoop with two people, Day and June. I don't know about you, but if novels are in the first person, I feel like it's a more intimate reading experience, or really hearing them tell the story. Anyways, um, I will say that a little downside um, was... The romance in this book it's just how immediately they fall for each other like they kiss oh oh <gasps> oops okay that's a spoiler <laughs> oh i'm looking at what i wrote down and i said the page number they they kiss early in the book and some couples it takes like an entire book or four looking at you percy and annabeth four books oh my gosh did i still fall in love with them yes yes i did the book i read right before this one took me forever to read and might have put me in a reading slump if it weren't for 
me picking up this book. It was a nice, refreshing, fast-paced story to obsess over, as you do. Well, this is funny. I just recorded the character's thought thing. This is another warning. Um, it's 7 minutes and 28 seconds, so... Yeah. This is your warning. Turn back now. <laughs> Let's talk about these characters, shall we? I'm sorry in advance. First, June. Now, despite any complaining I have about the book overall, or even the romance... I do really like our main characters, June and Day. June especially, she's wickedly smart. Like, may I just applaud her for all these observations she makes about her surroundings? She often counts the minute she's in a meeting, in a room, talking with someone, and then she mentions it in the book. For example, this is a quote. Details zip around me like a highway of thoughts, in parentheses. 97 seconds left, 33 soldiers heading opposite me, 12 heading my direction. Some flat screens have gone dark, must be the power cut. Others show pandemonium in the crowds, and then it continues on. I love seeing her smarts being used to the test, and maybe sometimes I feel she would have got she would have gone out of a situation easier or quicker because she's just so smart. She got a fifteen hundred out of fifteen hundred on her trial test, a, a perfect score, which is very difficult to get. So I had some high expectations for her, but. A number does not define you. I don't know. I still like her, though. Day, on the other hand, is smart in a much different way. He's quite literally the definition of street smart. And who doesn't fall in love with him and his personality? He sacrifices so much for Tess, his friend and companion, his brothers, and his mother. And also, soon, June. He's a very compassionate person who puts everyone, everyone, before himself. Which, um, <laughs> can more than definitely be a flaw in the future. Like, honestly, he is such a good person. I cannot emphasize this enough. While we're on the topic, let's talk about Tess. I might, I may or may not rant. <laughs> Tess is Day's friend. Did they grow up together? I don't think so. He found her in, like, this alleyway. That's all I remember. If you haven't read this book and you don't know her character, imagine Primrose Everdeen from The Hunger Games, Katniss's little sister. And I like Prim a lot. Like this younger, kind, like medical support friend. She's really good with like medical stuff. <laughs> but make her a thousand times more annoying and clingy and selfish and the worst. Is she only like 13? Yep. But I'm gonna keep going there you go that's Tess I mean I can put the same energy on loving day into hating Tess from the moment we met her I can see what kind of obstacle she's gonna be for day in one the main romance between day and June which is more present in the second book and I hate her more in the second book than I do in this book but we're already here so slight spoilers for prodigy and two Something else I can't say because spoilers for future books. <laughs> I'm not even gonna, like, hint at it because even that's gonna be a spoiler. Because Tess just cannot trust Day making his own decisions. And I guess whatever she says goes. So if Tess doesn't like June, Day can't like her either. Her argument is literally, I don't think she says this in this book, but it's in the next one. But I'm gonna roll, so sorry. She says... She's gonna break your heart, which is fair, sure, but have you been listening to a single word that has come out of June's mouth? She's done nothing but adore and care about you. You're just jealous because Day likes her better. Ugh. And the problem is, is that whoever, whenever another character meets her, they just fall in love with how kind and caring she is. Um, I guess, but at the same time, no. I don't like her. I just see right through that. <laughs> you you can go die. She puts Day through so much confusion and stress, and the readers would know because we literally read about it, that he just doesn't deserve. Like, please keep it to yourself. I know you're trying to be a good friend. I, I understand. But Day's older than you, so... I don't know. Are you only like 12, 13, 14? Sure. 
She's probably 13, though. I'm pretty sure she's 13. Sure. Can I still critic you aggressively? Yes, I can, I will, and I already did. Oh, and just wait until the next books, because the hate only grows. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Got a little passionate with that one. <laughs> None of this actually matters, and maybe she's just a sad, lonely teen. She's only had day, like, her entire life, so I guess that kind of makes sense why she acts like this. What is said has been said. <laughs> I still don't like her. It's all for now. <laughs> Just kidding. Next is Thomas. And you know what? Thinking about it, I hate to break this to you, but all my thoughts of his character is fully spoilers. So, I'll either talk about him in the next Legend Trilogy episode or in the segment after this. But... It'll probably be in the next episode when i talk about prodigy because then i'll talk about his character (laughs) i'll talk about his character okay matthias june's brother i really liked matthias whenever we got a flashback to matthias and june being siblings i liked him he's a kind older brother who wants nothing more than to just serve his country and take care of his younger sister because their parents died of course of course they're orphans. What did you expect from a YA dystopian novel? I mean, he does die pretty early in the book, so there's not really much I can say about him. So finally we have, I think this is the last character. I don't know. This is all I wrote. So this is the last character for now. Kaede. Now you may be thinking, oh, that's kind of a unique name. Yep, but you probably didn't have to go through the torture and confusion when it came to knowing how to pronounce her name. Like, K-A-E-D-E. At the time, I didn't look it up because I wanted to try for myself. Kaede? 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 This is why Google helps a lot. I've been pronouncing it like Katie, but it's Kaede, which is fair. Anyways, about her actual character, she was a pretty, she was pretty cool in this book. However, I didn't really like her in the second book, but then I liked her in the last one. I don't, I don't even know anymore. But I can say that she was this confident, maybe a little too cocky fighter that Day meets and June interacts with too. She has some funny lines. I don't have much else to say about her either. Spoilers for this book. Finally, I can talk freely. First off, I wanted to mention this because I'm very proud of myself and I just found it while looking through the book. At the end of pa- part one, page 160, I put a sticky note with a prediction. I guess I was really confident with this prediction because I put it in the book. On this page, Thomas, or Commander Jameson, shoots Day's mother and June is honestly feeling pretty bad about it because she didn't want anybody to get hurt but she's trying to remind herself that no day killed matthias day killed matthias and this is what i wrote underneath last minute prediction i don't think day killed matthias he only stabbed him in the shoulder question mark question mark question mark then i put the date 5 13 12 maybe thomas <laughs> if you want to know if i'm right spoilers for prodigy and champion really quick sorry Yes, Thomas did in fact kill Matthias, but only because he is way too loyal to the government and, like, the commanders, like Commander Jameson, and he was forced to, um, but he didn't want to, which is really sad because he genuinely cared about Matthias. So that's great. Sorry if I don't get this information exactly correct, but, um, remember when June fought Kaide? I almost said Katie. At that betting match boxing thing? After some very long and thorough research, that's not an exaggeration, I had a look at the Legend Fandom Wiki to find out what these fights were called, and it was not easy. These are called skiz fights. Sure, they were a kind of plot device-y way for June to meet Day, Tess to meet June, kind of uh, Kaide to meet June, and for June to show off her big brain. To be fair, it did leave an interesting impact on June and Kaide 
mostly Kaede's though thoughts on each other because now Kaede just wants to just wants payback for Jun beating her up also Tess almost or did I forget got beat up by Kaede which is hilarious because I hate her <laughs> sorry Tess I don't hate you that much but I do dislike you to be honest I wasn't really expecting Day's mother to die wait did John die <sighs> listen man it's been a hot minute since, since i've read these books but uh yeah wasn't expecting that i did see the whole oh no family got dangerous disease coming but not the like shooting of his mother oh my gosh on a similar note everything about thomas everything about thomas i got really weird vibes from him like right off the bat first of all he tried to kiss june uh, no thanks, and he was just too nice to her. Way too nice to her. I've been feeling like this a lot to a lot of characters recently in other books. Um, most recently, probably in The Cruel Prince, there is a certain character I just did not trust. Um, and I think I've ob obtained some trust issues due to all the books I'm reading, so thanks. Yeah, no, I did not like Thomas, even from the start, and I... <sighs> guess i was right this guy is too loyal way too loyal like without a second thought if he's told to mm, i don't know kill somebody like by commander jameson this guy would do it bad vibes bad vibes <laughs> now would i recommend this book and honestly yes if you're looking for a good dystopian book to read pretty short trilogy i highly recommend it is ya so it's a little younger, but I still think it's really good. The romance is great. The characters are great, except for <coughs> Tess. Um, but overall, I think it's a worthy read, and I would recommend it to a lot of my friends. Alrighty, that's all for this week's episode. Well, not this week's episode. You still have Saturday. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review of Legend by Marie Lu. Maybe you'll read it. Maybe you'll just leave this episode feeling satisfied. I don't know. I don't have much else to say, so I hope you have a great day, and keep reading, folks. Bye-bye.